like its predecessor, the new M5 has few external features to distinguish it from the rest of the 5 Series. It's a classic wolf in sheep's clothing, with little to give away the power that lurks beneath. Yes, it's got a more aggressive front spoiler, more aerodynamic door mirrors, and a tiny spoiler on the boot lid. But it's only really the 18-inch double-spoke chrome shadow wheels, the four stainless steel tailpipes, and yes, this little badge that really give the game away. With a 5-litre V8 pushing out 400 horsepower, the BMW leaps back to the front of the pack, threatening to crash to 60 in just five seconds for the sort of high-tech engineering you'd expect from its motorsport breeding. It's a car for the new millennium when BMW returned to the Grand Prix scene. Indeed, the M5 has the most technically advanced road car engine in the world, and like a racing engine, it needs to be warmed up gently. Warning lights suggest changing gear below 4,500 revs until the engine is up to temperature, and even then a 6,500 warning remains before the 7,000 limit is reached. Complete with a slick six-speed manual gearbox as standard, you get all this for a fiver under £60,000. Just over 500 less than the Merc, but nine grand more than the Jag. BMW's stability control system is called DSC. And like the Mercs, it has an uncanny ability to try and help the clumsiest of drivers from getting himself into trouble. You can steer viciously and you can feel the brakes coming on individually as the car tries to slide. The car's sensors detect the problem, they take the power away from the engine and they actually put the brakes on the wheels. It's absolutely incredible what these modern systems can do. Of course, in the end, when given an empty airfield, even in these appalling conditions, you do have to switch it off just to have a little bit more fun. This car is so beautifully balanced, it's like putty in my hands. You can't stop the rock, you can't stop the rock, you can't stop the rock.